All right, so we're doing another shopping video and we're walking into this place right here. Let's see what they have. Welcome to our channel. Watch this video. Okay, so I have a, I just walked in and I talked to customer service and they said it, you know, it wasn't a problem with them. We walk around doing video. So we're going to do some video. So stay tuned. Walking in here, you see the bananas are very, very limited. Okay. Uh, and on the other side, not any better okay and we're gonna go over here all right just regular old stuff empty shelves all right naysayers empty shelves I think every time I come across an empty shelf from here on out I'm gonna take a snapshot these not looking they're not looking too good over here empty shelf snapshot oh. <laughs> almost empty shelf and that's corn now this is important now look at this and look how this corn looks, y'all. Okay. And it's, I mean, it's probably 20 stalks here. That shows you something. Another empty shelf. Boom. And this is this is one of the mm, it used to be one of the more prominent stores. Okay, cauliflower. It's gone missing. It used to be one of the prominent stores in our area. And they changed ownership and all that kind of stuff, which has a lot to do with it. Now, you notice these lines, 49 cents a piece. My wife's favorite, the Granny Smiths, non-existent. They got some down here in the bags. All right, and look, they have like six pineapples. Count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's keep going. Potatoes, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Boom, every time I come across an empty shelf, I am gonna take a picture though. So let's mosey on down the way. Now this is where the fresh fruit that's cut up is supposed to be. It is not here. Non-existent. Okay, nuts. I'm going to step back so I can get a good shot here. Boom. Take a picture. Alright, let's go over. Okay, pastries. You're always going to have stuff that's going to keep people fat. Alright, you'll always see that kind of stuff. Let's see what this thing looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Look. Okay, so my prediction is is at its best. You're always gonna have sugary stuff, and you're always gonna have alcohol. Okay, so far, so good. Let's, matter of fact, let's go over here and mosey on. Now this is kind of kind of uh, bare, to be honest with you. I didn't think that I'm not even gonna take pictures of this because you know this is like wine and stuff. But um, I thought it'd be full. I stand corrected. Y'all gonna make me have to eat my shoe. <laughs> some empty spots and holes in here let's go into the freezer into the cooler let's see what's oh yeah look at here plenty of stuff to drink in here plenty 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 now when i was drinking i'm gonna tell you this this was my favorite right here this right here that red apple ale oh my it was delicious i don't drink that and stuff anymore so why don't we throw it over to one of our sponsors Welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. So here's the frozen morgue, as you can tell. Alrighty. Okay, let's go over here, because this is an empty space. I mean, they... Wow, I'm gonna show you guys the morgue over here where the fresh what a fresh death is. And you guys are not gonna believe that. Look at that. There's absolutely nothing in there. Okay. And look at this, look at this selection over here as I get closer to the lunchables, the bacon. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this just for Grim survival, because he always talking about his bacon. I always wanna do a bacon uh, segment for just for you, just for you, Grim. <laughs> Hey, it's on special today. It's 12 ounces for $5.59. That's 16 ounces. That's a whole pound for $5.59. There's a bare shelf. <laughs> Empty space. And, okay, and stepping back. 
there's a lot of empty spaces okay and the stuff i'm looking at don't even look good empty space empty space see i know a lot of folks think i'm crazy which is crazy which is fine i don't care if you guys think i'm crazy but i'm just doing some leg work for you okay and this is just showing you that you need to prep 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 look at all those empty spaces <sighs> i just got kicked out of a store a while ago all right i'll tell you guys that story a little bit later look at the bread and right, now like i said to to this door's defense this used to be one of our prevalent stores in the area and then it you know it came up under new management and it has not been right or it hasn't been the same i can't say it hadn't been right hadn't been the same ever since but look at all the, i can it's so many empty space i'm not even gonna put this many pictures on my phone okay look down there empty space all right okay now this is the tail all right here the canned good section Empty spaces, open places. Empty spaces and open places. You see holes everywhere, right? Let's go over here to this canned goods section. All right, dollar, dollar, dollar for cream and mushroom, 85 cents, Campbell's. Okay, well, at least this section looks halfway decent. Golly, Progresso, they're killing folks. 249, jeez. Woo, have mercy. All right, let's go back to the morgue and see what's going on over here, which I think is probably going to be more of the same, all right? And that meat don't even look good, y'all, okay? It's old. Look at here. I'm just going to step back so y'all can see. Now, you tell me, you tell me that, that some places are doing worse than other places. I'm going to get to the end. I'm just going to take a step back and just show you guys this. Now, this is the morgue. All right. What do you think? What do you think? I need, I need to know. I need to hear your comments. Hear your comments. I need to see your comments on this. Tell me what, what's, what are your thoughts now? All right. And trust me, this is not what I want to be seeing right now. Not even close. This is not, 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 I repeat, this is not what I want to see us go through. But, unfortunately, I think I'm right. All right, let's see what this morgue section looks like. This is the frozen, frozen, I guess it's more frozen. That's their pork chitlins. And if y'all don't know about the, the pork crisis that's going on right now, shame on you. You best better find out. All right, so eggs. Let's see what eggs cost in here. Three twenty-nine for Eggman's Best. Seventy-nine cents for regular eggs. Dollar nineteen for an eighteen count. <clears throat> let's see if they see what they have in the freezer over here in the section that I normally eat in. Now, they got plenty of tea, <laughs> but it just looks like that because that's there's nothing behind those. Okay, empty spaces, empty spaces, empty spaces, empty spaces, empty spaces. All right, welcome back. Look at that, empty spaces. I'm moving fast in here too, cause it's cold. <laughs> oh God, look here, bam, whole bunch of empty space. I'm trying to see if they actually have do you have, do you have the morning stars? Where are the morning stars? Where are the bokas? Where are they? All right, so open spaces. They don't even have lights on a lot of these freezers. I guess they don't have, they don't have bokas and things. Look at the vegetables, y'all. Look how empty the vegetable aisle. Look at all the spaces as I walk past. And if I'm going too slow, too fast, look, empty, 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 empty. Empty, 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 empty. All, all the bottom over there is empty. Okay. Empty spaces, open places. I think I'm gonna coin that phrase. Empty spaces, open places. <laughs> all right, empty, empty. What you think?
All right, here's the easy food pop in a microwave and eat. All right. If they redeem themselves, this is the place. A little empty space down there. The bank was that. Ugh. I don't see how anybody can eat those. But I'm sure somebody's out there. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is some good stuff right here. These Amy's, you pay for them, though. Look, $5.29, $4.79. You're going to pay for those Amy's. But they are good. Good, good. I don't see any. Um, I didn't see any morning stars. I didn't see any bokas. I didn't see any plant based. Uh, imitation meats. Didn't see any of them. All right, so. Hi, I'm Christina. And you are watching Plant Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. As my buddy Grim would say, it's looking kind of grim in here. Mm. And I don't know um, exactly what the answer is for this store. We're going to get out of here. I was trying to see if they had some guacamole or something I could just grab real quick, but because I like to, I like to go in these places and I like to, um, I like to patronize. I like to buy. You know, I don't want to just come in and not do anything. So we're leaving out. But uh, oh, that's one thing I didn't show you guys was the oodles and noodles aisle. Let's go over there. All right, so here are the oodles and noodles. And you guys tell me I'm not I'm not gonna put any words in your in your mouth. You guys tell me what you think. I haven't seen a bag of rice anywhere. Okay, and I bought this whole entire store and it should be right here. I don't see a bag of rice anywhere. Alright, so we're leaving out. <clears throat> Honest assessment. If I had to give this store uh, a one through five rating, five being the highest and one being the lowest. They have the lights on, so that, that gives you an automatic star just for having the lights on. And having anything in the store gives you another star. And because they had some variety, I give them a two and a half stars. That's it. I can't rank them any higher. Two and a half. That's it. Aww. All right. That's just a little peek inside of our lives of us being very silly at times. Jennifer has a song she's going to debut right now. Y'all ready? Welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper. Plant based homestead prepper. Plant based homestead prepper. I'm Roger Chappelle. Oh. <laughs> and this is why we don't let her do any intros or outros. Where we make prepping fun. Where we make prepping fun. Welcome to plant based homestead prepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. <laughs> and yes, we still have lights. We're still on the grid. Plant -based and right behind me is like five dogs. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all take care.